I can't imagine what the last 24 hours have been like for you. Um, first of all, just explain to us, so why were you at Westminster yesterday? Um, we were part of British Lionheart uh, boxing team who are about to take on I Italian Thunder tonight at your call. Um, what we normally do is we go and do a community activity um, PR event, which was taking place for an hour right. in, in in the house. Mm. How, how's the comments? Mm. <clears throat> and so, where, uh, at, the, at, the, at the moment the, the attack struck, whereabouts were you precisely? So we, we were just leaving the um, exit, uh, which I guess is sort of parallel to where the crash happened. Uh, at this moment of time, I had my phone out. Um, I was taking footage, you know, for social media, you know, good visit to the House of Commons. Um, I didn't realise there was a crash then at that time, but I heard a fracas. Mm. And you thought it was a demonstration at first? Yeah, I thought, I thought it was a student demonstration, you know, because lots of people were running and they were, they were coming around towards the gate. Um, and we were on the side of the barrier making our way to the exit to get on, onto the coach. Um, and then all of a sudden I seen some, some large chap brandishing two knives come oh through gosh. the gate, start attacking a police, uh, policeman. At that point then, just instinct kicked in, um, leapt over the fence because obviously that guy needed assistance. Were the policemen chasing after him or did they run towards him? <clears throat> no, they, I think they were holding the ground and that's when, you know, poor To stop him from getting any further. You start moving back with adrenaline pumping in. Um, at this point, the assailant was, you know, c coming towards us um, and, and I just recall out the corner of my eye um, one of the marksmen c coming out and, uh, you know... Um, and shooting him down. Yeah, put three rounds in him and yeah. put him down. Now, what made you run towards that situation? Because many people would have been fearful, frightened, run the other way, and you say instinct kicked in. Well, actually, your instinct kicked in, which was to go towards Keith Palmer and, and administer him CPR before anybody else had. Yeah, I, I just knew he was in a great deal of difficulty. Um, it, it didn't, you know, everything happened so quick. Um, but my natural instinct was, you know, g get over there. And, you know, give some assistance where it need be. I, I'm not that specially trained in first aid, but I know the basics. I know, you know, well, I can put someone at ease. Yeah. But um, well, you knew he was in trouble. Yeah. He, he, you know, it, initially, um, when he fell to the ground, try to have a look at him, put him in the recovery position, make sure I check his pulse. He had a weak pulse. He was bleeding profusely. Um, I allocated. He had initial head wound, which didn't look. Too bad, although it was bleeding. Mm. Um, I know a lot of police were screaming, oh, he's, he's been stabbed in the head. But then he had another wound in his arm and another one, which I believe was probably the fatal one, you know, on, on his rib cage. Yeah. That, that I put my raincoat underneath, tried to stem the blood oh as much God. as I could. And then, but, but you know, f for that moment the time, I've obviously reviewed the footage and the audio I've got on my phone and which I've given to the police. Um, <laughs> For about 90 seconds into it, another colleague, oh, sorry, not a colleague, another guy called Mike um, came and joined in. And at this time, there was lots of police around. They're, it keeps co colleagues. Mm -hmm. And um, maybe three, three and a half minutes later was when the MP... Um, Tobias Elwood. Yeah, c came in and <gasps> sort of took, took over on CPR. And how do you... I mean, you're not a paramedic, you're not trained for this. You were, like you said, you were going along as part of this boxing group. How can you process that in your head and deal with it now? When you woke up this morning, you must have had that moment of just clarity where you go, oh, yeah, it's a normal day, and then it must have just hit you what, what had happened yesterday. Um, to be honest, I just, I'm just ca carrying on, you know. Um, I, I think, you know, I'm down here for a job, um, a GB boxing coach. Um, I've got to look at some boxers for tonight. Mm. Um, may maybe tomorrow, the day after, maybe sink in a bit. But yes. I guess I've just finished 22 years in the military, so maybe I don't know. So, so some of those, yeah. you know, I bet that um, situation have been. And once the MP uh, Tobias Howard had, uh, had started work, did you stay at the scene? Yeah, yeah. I, I actually got up as well because I want to go and have a look at the assailant. Mm. Um, you know, because obviously he was being attended to. Mm. But, um, you know, I mean, the, the MP, um, sorry, f forget his name, he, he did a tremendous job. A a everyone that was in there done a tremendous job. And I can't really commend the air pilot, the, the air doctor, very, very professional, very thorough, you know, and the actual, the stuff he went into was maybe a bit too sort of... Mm. Uh, yes, of course, let's not do that for the family, program, yeah. But, um, um, but, uh, but, but uh, I think... It's reassuring, and you've seen it firsthand. It's reassuring to know that uh, that they are there and they do act. All our services act incredibly yeah. quickly. Yeah. 
Yeah, can't commend the services. You know, everyone just joined together. You know, mm -hmm. great, great sort of show of solidarity. And yeah. uh, and we should we should point out because I'm sure that people have noticed. Um, I mean, you, you've come on today and you only brought one set of clothes, and, and unfortunately your shoes are um, still being cleaned um, after yeah. yesterday. Um, yeah. Oh, Thank gosh. you. Well done. I'm going to take your hand for no. being so brave well and, and amazing. Uh, uh, what yeah. Please, please, do, you know, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not brave, I'm not a hero. No, you were there, you didn't run away. You had that instinct to go in, and like I think we all hoped that we would do that in that position, mm. but we never know whether we would, and you, you yeah. did, so well done. Yeah. Well you. done, you. Thank you very Thank much. You. London Air Ambulance is absolutely vital because bringing emergency medical attention by experts to the roadside in very quick time saves lives. Many thousands of us have supported London Air Ambulance because it is a vital part of keeping Londoners safe. London Air Ambulance Charity is one of those fantastic organisations where volunteers, paid staff and experts come together to deliver this vital service for Londoners. Thank you.